This evening I'm gonna make a real quick video. A couple weeks ago I, I made a video of a replacing the servo motor on the driver's side for the, the air conditioning and heater diverter. This week I'm going to be replacing the passenger side. And so I've already removed the glove box. It's sitting right there. This is an air tube that's underneath the dash here that moves your air from right here over to where your feet is to, to disperse the air as you can see got holes in the bottom so the servo actually goes right there there's the stems that it bolts to and like i said in the last video i took i put a little piece behind the the little white lever there that keeps it from flopping down because i was just manually adjusting it so today we're going to be putting in the new part and it is looks like this right here got it from toyota part number 87106-08060 brand new part so we're going to put it in place here and get this back together like i said this is a little piece i put behind there i just made it by cutting a roofing nail and putting it through a piece of rubber to keep that flap from moving temporarily. So now we're gonna be putting that servo motor in there, hooking it up to the connector right here. That flashlight system was not working very well, so I went and got a light so I can light this area up pretty good so you can see what's going on. So like I said, I got the glove box out. It's not hard to get out, it just has this little shock there that it hooks to. Part of the glove box hooks to this and that's what controls it from flopping up and down and then it just, just snaps into these bottom plate pieces right here. So I'm gonna hook the hook the electronics up first. There we go. Now it should just be a matter of getting this in place. Just like that in place now. I just gotta get the screws that I took out from the old one. Get them mounted back in there and get that tube put back in. Okay, I just started the van up and I think because the temperature, the van is so cold, I can't really adjust it right now. Unless I go all the way down and then it just goes all the way to the cold setting. It is moving, it's reacting, so I think that was a problem. All right, it's been a few minutes, guys, and now you can see as I adjust the temperature here, I'm getting a good reaction from the motor down here. So I'd say everything's back up to snuff. And I'll put that air thing back in here, and then we'll be all set to go. And it is not easy to get in here. There we go. I think we're in there. Now we're just gonna put the glove box back on. like that that so that's not a hard job switching those out the bigger issue was figuring out what I had wrong why the air wasn't working why the heat wasn't working and I wouldn't have guessed it would have been those two motors especially they seem to kind of go out around the same time the worst part is just figuring that out and then down here when you were behind here when you're getting that one bolt in at the very top corner it's easy to drop your pieces down behind the covers there so be careful with that. But other than that, not a big job. And now it's got our heat all working good. So my wife will be happy. So anyway, guys, good luck with all your projects.